Apple has a free online spreadsheet now. It's called Numbers. Anyone can use it. All you need is an iCloud account. So I'm going to show you right now how I log into it. And I'm going to bring up a simple spreadsheet. There's not much to this spreadsheet. I'm just going to use it to show you the sharing settings. And once you've logged in, this is your main spreadsheet screen. Go to the upper right hand corner to where the square is with the arrow on it. You click on it and you select share spreadsheet. This new box that comes up, this is the sharing options that you have. There's two important parts to this. One is the long random URL that you see. That's part of the security. No one's supposed to be able to guess it because it's too long. So if you send someone this URL, it's secure in and of itself for the most part because no one else is going to type that into a browser. The second part of this is whether or not you want to edit or just view. And that's a drop down menu right below that. So the next step is to press the option that says send link. This brings up your default mail program, and from there, you're going to be able to put in the email address of the people that you're going to send this to. If your computer's like mine, it doesn't have a default mail application. So if you press it, this might not do anything. What you need to do from there is to copy the URL that you see when you go to your email program, type in the email address, and type in your own subject. So what this does is show how your spreadsheet actually gets shared. You're not just sending this link to people. This link already exists and you're just telling them what it is. If you send this to one person or if you send it to a thousand people, it's doing the same thing. It's telling people where it's located so they can put it in the browser and log in and either look at it or edit it depending on what parameters were specified. For the last level of sharing, if you want to add a little extra security, you put a password on it. So you just use the password function. And remember that you're going to have to share this password with people. If you want it to be really secure, you should call them and tell them the password. Don't email it to them. And that's all you have to do to share files with Apple's numbers. Really, there aren't that many options to share. For example, if you want to use Google Sheets, it lets you share your files, which you can protect certain ranges or certain cells. But the numbers functionality is still useful, and you can really expand on what you can do with the numbers spreadsheet using these settings.